Nobody's going to get mad at anybody. Nobody's going to get frustrated. Everybody's just going to lock in and do their job, and that's what we got to worry about moving forward. We're going to watch the tape tomorrow, see where we can improve on. There'll be some opportunities to improve on, obviously. Um, we had some guys that played well today, but it's one of those things, consistency wins football games. Um, coaches did a great job of this week of, of putting us in position to be successful. We, we as players just have to do a better job of making the plays. The Washington Redskins have come to Bank of America Stadium and shocked the Carolina Panthers 29-21. It was a day of more than just inches. We'll get to that in a moment. But Dwayne Haskins, 13 of 25 for 147 yards. But the key stat for Dwayne Haskins, zero interceptions. Darius Geis, 10 carries, 129 yards, a touchdown. That one touchdown, 60, you know, was he had a 60-yard gain. He had a touchdown. Adrian Pierce, Adrian Peterson, 13 carries, 99 yards. He had a touchdown, but for Carolina, Kyle Allen, 27 of 46 for 278 yards. He had two touchdowns first quarter, but an interception, and that led to a Redskins one-yard touchdown run by Darius Geis. Now, the key was turnovers for Carolina. Kyle Allen with that turnover, and that t after that first quarter, time of possession was the key because the Panthers, had the, their defense was on the field almost the entire second quarter, third quarter, up until like the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. Christian McCaffrey didn't get many touches, 14 attempts, 44 yards, and DJ Moore continued his hot streak, six receptions, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Curtis Samuel, four receptions, 65 yards, and a score. So, you know, if you're Carolina, Ron Rivera, uh, Marty Herney, what is the new uh, owner going to do? He says he's not going to accept mediocrity, but Coach Rivera knows sometimes this is a game of inches. You know, everybody got to understand that these guys are trying, they're, they're doing the best they, are, they can. Um, the coaching staff is working their asses off, okay? And you look at the mix of players that they've had to deal with, the guys they've tried to work with, um, I think our guys are, are, are doing things that they're needing to do to give themselves the best chance to win. Um, are there some things that we can do differently? Probably. Are there things that we're going to look at and try and correct? Probably. Um, are there things that we're doing well and we're going to continue to try to do well? Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, it, it, there's two teams out there competing. Those guys competed. They competed their butts off. They tried to win a football game, and it came down to, unfortunately, the last play. Okay, we've had four of them like that. That's football. You know, sometimes you get the They put the ball on the ball on the ground three times. We didn't recover one of them. That's hard to take, but that's part of the game. That's, again, you live and die by that. And that's, you know, what they say, it's a game of inches. So the truth of the matter is, the inches weren't on our side this time. All right, Carolina comes up short, 29-21 to the Washington Redskins. Next week, they're at Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Next home game is the Seattle Seahawks with Russell Wilson and company here in two weeks. But we can't leave it on a bad note. We gotta leave something positive. It is a Christmas spirit. I'm a good guy. It's gonna be a bright note. We're gonna go over to the sixth annual tree lighting ceremony with our good friend and colleague, William Wilson. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Carolina Panthers sixth annual tree lighting presented by Academy Sports and Outdoor. For a holiday tradition, we are so pumped for tonight. We're at the corner of Stonewall and Mint by Bank of America Stadium with the Christmas tree lighting. We got some of Charlotte and North Carolina, up in North, North and South Carolina's finest. I didn't have a good time, had some fun. We've got beauty queens, we've got fans, we've got everything in the building. It's gonna be a great night. Oh yeah, it's a good time. This is actually our first year. We bring the family out and have a good old time. It's a lot different than Myrtle Beach where I am. There's a lot of sand, but not a lot of not a lot of fun and Christmas spirit yet. So I'm excited to be in Charlotte and here where all the Christmas trees are and let's put that out east, huh? <laughs> it's, it's exciting. It's fun. It's the first time actually coming from Nashville. N Asheville. Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. We're gonna celebrate with the Panthers. You know, we're really excited about having Mr. Tepper being the new owner. He's really, uh, you know, going to put a lot of effort into the team. We're really happy. We've got Miss North Carolina, Miss South Carolina, Mrs. North Carolina, and Mrs. South Carolina, which means half of them are automatically off the market. So, what can you do? 50% still ain't necessarily bad. Tonight, Santa Claus himself. I'm excited. I just got back from break from college, so I'm here visiting, so I'm excited we're doing something like this. Well, it's nice. It's festive. You see people with their reindeer on. A lot of people have their panther gear on, but it's nice. It's festive. 